Today we're talking about the end of the DSLR era. Hey everyone, my name is Soma Phototom here on YouTube and the channel is all about landscape photography. So if you're interested in this topic, make sure to subscribe for more similar videos. Also, if you want to learn more about my philosophy on landscape photography, you can buy my ebook on landscape photography, uh, where I talk about the concepts of choosing a subject, composition rules, and uh, then I present uh, landscape photography in 50 case studies, uh, so you can better understand my uh, concept about landscape photography. You can also join me for one of my workshops, so you have a variety of options to improve yourself as a landscape photographer. Now, let's get back to the topic from today, and that is the end of the DSLRs. Now, this is a bold statement, right? <laughs> this is uh, this is something that I'm I'm uh, talking about for at least two years. Um, so um, ever since I got my mirrorless Canon EOS R, I saw the benefits of having a mirrorless, and uh, at that point I understood that in a way mirrorless is the future. Nine out of ten questions that I receive are related to what camera should I buy. So people are not interested in choosing a subject or learning more about photography. They're very, very uh, focused on what type of camera to buy. And my advice for, uh, since two years ago is to go for a mirrorless. It doesn't matter if this is your first camera or you want to upgrade from, uh, from uh, your current camera. It doesn't matter what you own right now. Now I have a, I'm a, I'm working with Canon, uh, and I follow up news about Canon. And in a recent interview, the CEO of uh, Canon, Fujio Mitarai, and I had to check this name out because I can't remember it <laughs> by heart. So he said that uh, the Canon uh, 1DX Mark III is the last flagship in terms of DSLRs. Now, this is not a statement that will say, okay, starting from today, the DSLR factory is closing down and we're not producing DSLRs anymore. But in a way, uh, it's um, it was a, a, a very easy to foresee follow-up uh, from the decision uh, from January 2020 when uh, Canon said they will not produce um, EOS uh, EF mount lens unless uh, the market demands it. So when you stop the producing of lens that are uh, created for DSLRs, it's very clear that in the near future you will also stop the production of DSLRs. It's it's obvious now. I don't think this will happen very, very soon. I think we still have three to five years of these two types of cameras um, competing in the market. My opinion is that mirrorless is the future because it's much more user friendly and because you can pack it with a lot more features you can improve those features with upgrades on the software and you can ask for much more money because you're adding those features. Now, you will not receive new features with the software upgrade. <laughs> I mean, I don't think Canon will ever give you uh, extra features. I mean, if, if you buy a, the camera with uh, the option to film, let's say, 4K at 30 frames per second, I don't think there will be an update that will allow you to do 60 frames per second or 120. This, I think it's, it will not happen, even though it's, it's, it's not a big deal, but uh, it, it will not happen. You will only get improvement uh, of the feature, of the same features. Now, there are situations when I think, um, where I think the DSLRs are more suitable. So uh, if we're talking uh, about, let's say, a photo mission, you have, uh, if I would have to go and photograph in a location where for, let's say, seven days or 10 days, I will not have access to electricity, then I will 
seriously think about having a DSLR with me. And even though I'm predicting and I predicted uh, the raise of mirrorless and I'm talking more about mirrorless uh, than I talk about DSLRs, I own five DSLRs, Canon 50D, 60D, 80D, 5D Mark II and 6D. And I only own one mirrorless from Canon, Canon EOS R. So um, if I had to go to a location where there is problem with accessing electricity, I will go for a DSLR because it, it, it outbits the mirrorless by far. With a Canon DSLR, I can switch the screen completely off and I can use only the visor, which is um, Prisma technology. Only ju just, uh, just a few electronical informations on the bottom of, of the screen. And I think I can easily go two days uh, with photographing with um, with only one battery, but with a mirrorless, uh, it's very it's a very tough situation to be in. So this is, I think, the the biggest minus of the mirrorless. Uh, the the weather seal problem, I don't think, can't be solved. I mean, they they the the creation of a body that resists the weather it's not a big problem but the battery is and the way the battery is drained by the screen and the visor of a mirrorless now uh, in my opinion as i said three to five years still uh, we're gonna still see a lot of dslrs on the market but in the future after these three or five years the mirrorless will gain a lot more uh, ground i know it's a it's a it's a subject that can be controversial and you can state your opinion on that you can place a comment and say toma you know nothing my friend and you don't understand the market and <laughs> this is how the how things are going to be but this is the thing that i uh, i told to all the participants to my workshops, to all my friends, upgrade to a mirrorless because the mirrorless is the future. The, the simple fact that it can help you a lot with your photos. It can help you so that you don't miss a photo. If one ray of light goes through the clouds and you only have a couple of seconds to do the shot, you will not miss the shot if you own a mirrorless and if you do the photo with a mirrorless if you have a dslr you can miss it because for example you have a dslr you have it on spot metering and the the metering is done for example for an area that will lead to a serious underexposed photo or a serious overexposed photo so it's very easy for you to miss an opportunity with a dslr of course that with time you get a lot more experience and it's it's less likely that you're going to miss a situation mm -hmm. but when you're a beginner photographer and this is i think the biggest the biggest problem uh, with a dslr when you're a beginner photographer it's very useful to have a camera that helps you with determining uh, um, or with with evaluating if the exposure you're choosing is what you need. Say your, uh, your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Learn more about Linsky photography by buying my ebook. It's a very simple way to support me and you to get more information about Linsky photography and have an interesting read, maybe. Uh, and until next time, keep on photographing because it's the only way that you can get better. Bye bye.